choose to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt ring. Right, the bouncer's guilt ring. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. What did you say? You're backing off. You're backing off, yeah? You're backing off. You remember when I said to Gro? Do you remember when I said that we're being filmed by our Listen, I know you've hurt me, but if I kill me and I bend your nose, how much would you hurt me? Because that was, I have, I have nightmares about that day when you grabbed me from behind. I know there's no Hey! <laughs> <laughs> He's on air again. The Cobra, one of the greatest fighters we have ever produced in the UK. And I covered his whole career from amateur onwards. Those 13 world title fights at the end of his career. That iron chin, yeah? That, that brain, that analytical brain. You know, he used to write down every one of his training sessions. His, he was his own statistician on fighting. Warrior. Great legend, Hall of Fame guy. What's up? Is he one of the greatest heavyweights in the world, July Jane? Oh, I think he's in the top four. I think, I think again, he, 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 he dismantled and peppered um, Joyce the first time in April, and this time against Joe Joyce, he absolutely demolished him. He hit him with less shots, but he went for power this time with every big left hand. And that left hand, right hook combination to finish it will be a global viral highlight reel for a very long time. His stock has gone right up there. He's an outsider becoming an insider in the heavyweight division. I think you can comfortably rank him in the top four in the world. Would he beat, he could beat Joshua? He could beat Joshua. Two, two Southies, fascinating fight. He called out Tyson Fury when I spoke to him. He said, I want to shut Tyson Fury up. He's on the money. He's on the money with what he wants to do and how he wants to do it. And who would your money be on? Usek or Zhang? Because he's mandatory for him. Usek would stretch Zhang. But Zhang has a lot of power and he's a big, big 20 plus stone man who, again, doesn't seem to have loads of miles on the clock. But Joe Joyce tried to make adjustments tonight, and in those adjustments, he didn't take it to him enough. And Zhang said, no, no, I've got hand speed over you. I've got hand speed over you. Your footwork can't beat me. I'm gonna let my heavy hands go, and I'm gonna beat you. And I'm gonna, he said, I'm taking the T out of TKO this time, and I'm gonna KO you. Do you remember that? Yeah. That's what he said to me, and Zhang delivered. Stock's gone way through the ceiling. Dramatic, saddening, demoralizing, it's, it's hard to see where he comes back from this. We were chatting on air on TalkSport about the possibility of him fighting Daniel Dubois. Yeah. They're both coming off losses. Who knows? Does he call it a day, maybe? Yeah, he probably does, and I'm going to call it a day right now. That'd be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt ring. Right, the bouncer's guilt ring. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. 